so my name is Terry Grant and I'm the head of props at Western Canada Theatre. Uh, so my job is to uh, take care of all of the props uh, for the shows and for rentals that come through uh, this theatre. Um, the next show that we're doing is called Where the Blood Mixes and uh, two of the more interesting props I'm working on in that one are two puppets that are both used in kind of uh, dream sequences or uh, kind of symbolic sequences. Um, and one is a sturgeon and the other one is an osprey, which is a, a kind of bird who catches fish. And um, both of them are going to be operated by actors. And um, so what I'm doing, what I do is I go, like the designer, uh, whose name is Corey, sends me sketches of everything that he wants and um, kind of what they look like and how big he wants them to be and, and notes on kind of what they should look like, maybe what they should be made out of, or anything specific, like it needs to be really light, or it needs to bend at the waist, or it needs to be a certain color. And um, I read the script as well, and I kind of get an idea of what they mean. And then we have a couple phone conversations and uh, before he gets here. And uh, in the meantime, I start building prototypes. And so these are the basic ideas of what they will kind of look like by the time that they're done. Um, and that the actors use in rehearsal so they get an idea of what they'll be using. And then while that's in rehearsal, I either take it when they're not using it and continue to build on it, or I build a whole new one that is the exact same and make that one into the final product. In this case, I'm going to give this one to them for rehearsal um, with a few more pieces, obviously, and they're going to use that uh, to rehearse with, and then we'll give them a new one. And this is the, the head that goes on it. So this is the body and it's held by this rod here and then the wings are made out of this um, plastic tubing and the wings will be attached to these springs and hang off of here so that they can move up and down and just kind of freely on their own. This is the head, this is the final head that we're actually going to be using but we don't have a mock-up of the head yet. And so what this metal piece in the middle is called is the armature. So the armature in puppetry is the basis on which all of the movement comes from. So the armature gets all of the accessories, like the head and the wings added to it, and the armature is what controls it. So this unit, as you can see, the head will balance on it and will have a little stop put on it. And the front is weighted so that as you move the body, the head stays in one place, giving it some kind of life and motion so that as it's flying, it'll look like it's actually looking at things. And um, the wings will be attached to these springs, obviously not right now. It's, it's a little too complicated for this right now. But the wings go on top here, on top of this spring, and then they'll just kind of bounce up and down as it moves. And then the legs will be made out of the same copper and attached about right here. And the feet, as it swims or as it flies down over the water, will pick up a fish and then bring it with them. And the boat here will do all of that while holding on to this. One. Um, so this is um, the armature for the other puppet, which is the big sturgeon. So this one is the same idea. It's in a dream sequence, and they um, basically swim through a river with a big uh, puppet. So as you can see, it really doesn't look anything like the drawing that we have from the designer right now. Um, as we were talking about earlier with armatures, this is a basic armature, so where all of the movement of the, of the fish comes from is from this. And it looks like it's just a pool noodle on a stick, but what's actually inside of it are 16 mending plates. And a mending plate is just a big piece of metal with some holes in it, and so they're all hooked together. The challenge that we had building this one was that it has to move from side to side really easily, like a fish does, but it can't move up and down very much, because if it moves up and down too much, it just looks like a, a pool noodle on sticks. Um, so this is the basic shape, and this is, once again, what we'll be sending to actors uh, in rehearsal so that they can get a feel for what they're going to be doing during the show and we'll add a tail and a head to it. And then while they're using that in rehearsals every day, I'll be here doing the exact same thing, making the exact same shape, and then making it look like the one that we saw in the drawing, which will have ribs going across it, and then more pieces of pipe going along the sides, and a paper mache head and a paper mache tail.